All right, in this video, we're gonna look at a common pre-calculus problem when you're studying law of signs, a real world application. And what we have here is a ranger in tower A spots a fire at a direction of 349 degrees. So that's what we have down here. I'm gonna show it to you in the picture as well. So we got this tower A, when it spots a fire at a direction of 349 degrees, there's two types of compass bearing problems. This one here, you're just given a straight up angle. And when you have a direction and you're given just an angle, you always start north, so think straight up and we go clockwise 349 degrees. So we're going, you know, almost all the way back around. Well, that's gonna give me a big hint for, right, for this angle right here in a second. But now let's move on to the next part. A ranger in tower B located 50 miles at a direction of 56 degrees from tower A. Notice this, 56 degrees from tower A. So from tower A to tower B, the direction to tower B from A is 56 degrees. So again, we start north, we go clockwise 56 degrees. So that's why B is over here to the right, because 56 degrees, think of it as going slightly clockwise. Well, we are going clockwise, but we're going 56 degrees. So that's how we're getting this angle right here. But that's just this angle from here to here. Notice they are 50 miles apart, as indicated in the problem. But it also says that Tower B spots the fire at a direction of 335 degrees. So going to Tower B, north direction, go clockwise 335 degrees. Now, let's go ahead and start finding some missing pieces because what we want to do is we want to find, you know, how far from tower A is the fire. So we're trying to figure out, you know, this one here. And then we're trying to figure out how far from tower B, how far from tower B is the fire. So we're trying to find the distance, you know, all the way across that triangle there. And then uh, this blue one here, how far is tower A from the fire? We're trying to find that length right there as well. Let's just go ahead and find some missing angles because we have to figure out some angles in this triangle here to use the law of sines. Well, the first one I'm seeing down here is going to be this one right here. Since we have a direction of 349 degrees, we would have 11 more degrees to go to go all the way back around, right? Because that would be a total of 360. And 360 degrees minus 349 degrees is 11 degrees. Therefore, this entire angle right here from this side all the way to this side, that entire angle, angle A, is going to be 67 degrees because we have to add the 56 and the 11 together. So we have that missing angle, that entire angle right there. Let's go over and do some, same, some of the same stuff for tower B. So we go 335 degrees, uh, the direction is 335 degrees. This leftover part from here to here is gonna be 25, very similar to what I did with the 11, I just subtracted 360 minus 335 to get the 25 degrees. However, that's not the angle that we want. The angle that we want is this angle right inside of here. That's gonna be the measure of angle B. Well, how can we figure this out? There's a couple of ways that you can do this. One way that we can do this is to think about parallel lines. Parallel lines, well, notice my little northern lines that we have here. Um, this may be included in your textbook, it may not be, but I'm extending my, my north lines at, to make them parallel, and I want you to think about this, this, and this. So look at these angles. This angle right here, which you already know is 56, right? Well, this angle over here, all the way from here to this side, that has to be supplementary with this one. Same side interior angles of parallel lines. We got our two parallel lines here, the two dotted lines. Same side interior angles are supplementary. All right, with that said, that means this entire angle from here to here, what's that gonna be? How do we figure that out? Well, again, I'm connecting this all the way over to here and that's going to be supplementary to this angle here because they're same side interior angles. Well, 180 minus 56 is going to be, what, 124 degrees. That is going to be the entire measure of this angle from here to here. Now, to figure out this little missing piece right here, well, it's not drawn to scale, nonetheless, we already know that this little chunk from here to here is 25, right? We did the little 360 thing to get 25, but that's only from here to here, but the whole thing from here to here is 124. So this leftover piece right here is gonna be the difference between these two numbers, and if you take 124 minus 25, you get a measure of 99 degrees. That's the measure of the angle from here to here. That's the measure of angle B. 
So with that said, I'm just going to come over here and clean up my mess a little bit. I'm going to draw the same triangle very quickly. And I'm just going to write those numbers in. So we got 67 here at angle A. Angle B, we said that was 99 degrees with a little bit of geometry. And that leaves us with what? I think uh, 14 degrees right here. Let's double check that. We just use the 180 rule. So 180 minus 99 minus 67. Yeah, 14 degrees where our fire is. Okay. And what else do we have? The 50 miles. Now we are ready to do the law of sines. The reason why we can do the law of sines is because we have a side and its opposite angle. And now we can figure out these other missing pieces. So let's just figure out the blue question mark. The blue question mark right here. I'll call it X or something just to label in my equation that I'm going to set up. So using law of sines, we have 50 over the sine of 14 degrees. I'm taking that with that. That's how you do law of sines is equal to x that's going to be a side its opposite angle is 99 degrees so we have the sine of 99 degrees and what we have down here on our ti-84 just make sure you are in degree mode when you do this and as you can see i've done it right here so i've taken 50 times the sine of 99 and then we divide by the sine of 14 to solve for x just a quick cross multiplying problem all right i'm going to go ahead and copy this over and the other answer is also given to us right there as well. So we get 204 for the blue question mark. That is going to be, this 204 is going to be this guy right here. And that's very ugly, but uh, so 204 miles is what we have for this one, approximately to the nearest whole number. Now to set up the second one, to find this one over here, this question mark, I'll just call that Y. What we have here is the same setup, really, 50 over the sine of 14. But we want to be careful over here. We're not trying to find x anymore. We're trying to find y, and its opposite angle is going to be 67, so the sine of 67 degrees. And I'm just forgetting my degree marks, but that'll be all right. And as you can see here on the calculator, when we cross, multiply, and divide, 50 times the sine of 67, that's exactly what I did right here. And then I divided by the sine of 14, so we get an approximation of 190 miles from tower b to the fire these are your two answers so just our real quick i know that's kind of messy looking so we will say and there you have it you know you, forming the triangle is a tough part you know recognizing the little 360 stuff we did here and then you know sometimes you have to add angles together Whereas sometimes you have to actually subtract some stuff and you got to think about parallel lines, same side interior, all that stuff. But there you have it. That's a common real world problem that you run into pre-calc with the law of signs. And that is it for this video. I hope it helped.